It says, this one's from Ross. Ross says, I'm up here in Nome, Alaska. Brrr. <laughs> and I'm having trouble with the latest iMovie projects. He says, well, using iMovie HD 5.0.2. He says, lately the videos I have been editing have been running slow. By slow, I mean audio will be playing fine and the video clips will be twitchy and have some um, catching up to do with the song. And it's doing this to the latest segments I have been editing. Can you help me fix this? Brad, what I, um, I'm sorry, Ross, what I suspect is happening is your hard drive may be fragmented. If you've done a lot of video editing, it sounds like you've done quite a bit of it. She talked about the current ones that you're doing. Your older ones may not actually be doing this, and your newer ones are. And the reason being is on your hard drive, you got a hard drive space and stuff is written into different segments on here. So one file will take up this much space, and then another file will take up this much space. And when I delete this file, then it leaves that open to write something else. Well, sometimes this, this space I had open was this much. And when you start running out of hard drive space, um, when a file's saved, it'll save a part of it here, a part of it here, a part of it there, anywhere it can find free spaces on the hard drive. And so those newer files are being saved on the hard drive and it's starting to stutter because it's having a hard time accessing all of that files, all of those pieces of the file uh, at the same, you know, when you need them. I've also seen this happen when you try to edit off of a network server drive where you have video over there where it's, you know, high content. And you notice this with digital video more than anything else because video is a lot of information. I mean, five minutes of video is like a gigabyte of data, 1,000 megabytes. That's a lot of stuff to be flying through off the hard drive to your processor, to your RAM, to your computer. So I think the likelihood is that's probably your problem. So the best thing you want to do is try to defragment your hard drive. I recommend something like Tech Tool Pro could do that. You could also try just backing up all your files and erasing your hard drive and reinstalling fresh. And that might be an interesting idea to, to go as well. Um, because uh, that, would, that would get rid of your fragmentation and wouldn't cost something like Tech Tool Pro. It's also not a bad idea to actually have an external hard drive that you hook up to your computer to edit your video on because that way you can easily erase that one, reformat it, and then put new projects on it. And whenever you erase a hard drive, it clears out the fragmentation. So I suspect that's probably the problem that you're having. Um, give that a shot and if that doesn't help things, let me know. Okay. Next question we got is from Fahad. Fahad says, I wonder how I can install Mac OS X on my hard drive, no matter how Vista has formatted it. Um, please uh, tell me which format is required for Mac OS X. So he's trying to install Mac OS X on a hard drive that was formatted by Vista. Well, again, we're going back to the same program that we've got. I got uh, uh, Disk Utility. Oops, cancel. Uh, click cancel. Sure, save. Okay, we had this problem before. I'm not sure what's going on. I think it's a problem with the Wacom tablet is creating a, a problem here. Let me um, force quitting this. Force quit. Okay, let me try launching Disk Utility again. There we go. Cancel. All right. So what I want to do is in Disk Utility, let me close out of this. In Disk Utility, when you choose a hard drive that you want to format, click erase and you go over here and here's the volume format and this is the format Mac OS extended journal that Macs like to install their operating system on if you had MS DOS or something like that it won't work so you have to format it and often when you put in the um, the DVD to install you'll find up here somewhere in the menu section somewhere up here you'll see a, a shortcut to disk utility somewhere in here um, from the installer disk. Now the menu won't look the same as this, but you go up here under like, I think it's under a sub-menu called Tools, and you'll see Disk Utility, and that's where you can choose the drive and erase it. Now if you have anything else on that drive that you want to keep, um, you might want to partition the drive first in, in Windows, you know, if you wanted to keep a part of that for Windows and then have the other part for Mac, because otherwise you're going to run into a problem and back up all that data, because once you click Erase, stuff's gone. Stuff's gone. Now if you just chose a, a partition to erase, then just that part's gone, not the entire hard drive. But make sure, you'll often see sub-menus over here regarding which one. Like right here, I have technically two partitions on this drive because this second disk, disk OS 3, is, um, actually I don't have that one on there. Untitled is not showing up, which is the one I set up for, let me see. Uh, yeah, there we go. And partition. You see I have two partitions here. I have one down here that I've set up for Windows Boot Camp. And this is the one I use for the Mac OS. So you want to make sure that you, you know, erase the part that you want. That would be the key thing. So you see a subcategory here. And there's the Mac drive partition. And there's the other Windows drive partition. Okay? 
Well, uh, hopefully that answers your question. Uh, that's what Mac's like. You don't need the journal part, by the way, if you're not going to be um, making it a bootable drive. The journal just basically keeps an index of all the files that are in there, and you probably don't need that if it's just a flash drive, in which case you would just choose the uh, Mac OS Extended, which should be fine. Okay.